All right, so here we are with f of x equals 1 half to the x. We've got tables here. We're going to compute the values. Uh, start on this side. 1 half to the 0. Anything to the 0 is 1. 1 half to the first. Anything to the first is the thing itself. Then I'm going to square 1 half. You square the top, you get 1. You square the bottom, you get 4. Now I've got 1 half cubed. 1 eighth. 1 cubed over 2 cubed. So we have 1 32nd for 1 half to the fifth. We recognize those numbers. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 as the powers of 2, but now they're down in the denominator. Now for negative exponents, 1 half to the minus 1. I'm going to use this rule here. It says you can change the sign of the exponent as long as you turn the fraction upside down. So that would be 2 over 1, which is just 2 to the first, which is 2. Or 1 half to the minus 1 is 1 over 1 half to the 1, which is 1 over 1 half, and 1 over 1 half turns out to be 2. But this is quick. So we'll do 1 half to the minus 2 is 2 squared, because that's 2 over 1. Should I write it? All right, it's for fun. Which is 2 squared. And 1 half to the minus 3, have a trouble. Is 2 cubed, that's 8. 1 half to the minus 4, it's going to be 2 to the 4th, that's 16. And 1 half to the minus 5, it's going to be 2 to the 5th, which is 32. Okay. Now I'll come over here. Kind of familiar with the numbers. Remember on our previous graph, it was like 10, 20, 30, so I could fit 32 in. And here it was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And then I guess I need to make this a table. Well, I don't have to, but it might be useful. Maybe I'll put it over here. And maybe I won't put it any place. Maybe I'll put it here. We got space. There we go. Oh, this is one half though, isn't it? I keep thinking it's like two, which it is, but it's not exactly like two. There we go. So here's our one, one half, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty second. And then it was 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Okay. So I just want to plot those. We actually already plotted these, except in slightly different places on the previous slide. Well, here's 0, 1 again. Uh, 1's a half. Of course, minus 1, where the 1 half was back there before. And then it's 1, eight, one quarter, 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, 1 thirty second. So over on this side, Here's where the graph gets closer and closer to the x-axis now. And then it's the negative numbers that cause large y values to happen. Minus 1 gives us 2. Minus 2 gives us 4. Minus 3 gives us 8. Minus 4 gives us 16. And minus 5 up here, 32. So if we go like that. So we compare and contrast the two graphs. They have very similar shapes, almost identical shapes. It looks like one is just the other one flipped across the y-axis. See all the same values, just whatever was here for this graph is over here for the previous graph. In fact, it might be interesting just to kind of superimpose those two graphs. So if I was to do that, I wonder if I could do this. So it'd be a half, a fourth, an eighth, a sixteenth, thirty-second here. And then it was two, four, eight, a sixteen, thirty-two here. 
Not pretty. This is f of x. It's 2 to the x. Oh, not too bad. And over here, this should be exactly the same. My artwork failed to be perfect. Sorry, that's 2 to the x. That's right. This is 1 half to the x. All right. So we've talked about the graph of 2 to the x, and we talked to the graph about the graph of y. This bothers me. I've got to make it pretty. I may fail. Let's see. A bit better. OK. So now we need to talk about what happens if you use other bases besides 2 and 1 half. Um, that's the plan. Uh, luckily, if the bases don't, aren't 2 or 1 half, the graphs, though, will resemble in shape either this type of graph or this type of graph for all the bases, except maybe if you used a base of 1. That's not a very interesting exponential function. 1 half to the x is just 1. It just goes straight across like this. It's really not usually classified as an exponential function because it's a line. But all the other exponential functions either look like one of these two types. So it's, it was helpful to have us graph 2 to the x and 1 half to the x because it represents the kinds of things that can happen for exponential graphs. So we'll be back with that discussion in just a minute. Um, here we go.